about $10 million in terms of profit. But now Mikey Garcia, he's announcing that uh, this is a, a fight that's been long in the works. They had a deal on, pretty much in place to fight before the pandemic hit. Uh, and, you know, all sports, obviously, is global pandemic, so all sports were suspended. Uh, he says now that um, now they will have, you know, uh, an agreement in place. So he's uh, essentially, Mikey Garcia, saying that they're just finalizing a deal to get a deal done in May. If they, if they said they're looking at uh, in the next few days, they're going to finalize everything and have a deal in place, and the, the showdown is going to take place in May. Obviously, we are in the first week of March, so that gives them plenty of time you know, um, to, pay, to prepare. Manny Pacquiao, you know, uh, he was stripped of his WBA title because of inactivity. He won it against former unified WBC, WBA world champion superstar boxer Keith one time Thurman, who was stripped of his WBC title due to inactivity. Manny Pacquiao beat him for the WBA title. And uh, Manny Pacquiao, then that was July of 2019. The WBA, they informed Manny Pacquiao that if he indeed didn't fight somebody in the top 10 in their ranking system, that they were going to strip him of the title. Uh, Stop. Do y'all recall this nigga saying, you see how he just said that Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman, right? Did y'all recall this fucker saying that, that um, Manny Pacquiao was only bringing names, right? Is only bring his name, right? And he just admitted that Manny Pacquiao la last um, fight, he de defeated who? Keith Thurman, which is a top world to week. Let's just keep going, bro. I'm going to just show you that the, the deep, how they, the, the, they hate Terrence Crawford so much. Like, I don't know. They find different ways to do it, but we just going to keep running. I'm going I'm to just, I'm gonna just show y'all niggas something, bro. Like this, these niggas is weird, bro. All the way weird, bro. Weird, bro. He was... Pursuing a showdown with a crossover sport with uh, legendary, iconic superstar UFC um, combat athlete Conor McGregor, and that fell through as Conor McGregor was knocked out in his rematch with Dustin Poirier, so that fell by the wayside. And then he announced that uh, there was reports that he could possibly face off against undefeated rising lightweight Mexican superstar title contender King Rod Ryan Garcia, but that fell through, and I believe that fell through due to. Uh, they saw the response that they got when that fight was even talked about, and it wasn't a positive response, okay? So with that said, now, um, this didn't make any sense. He should have announced the Mikey Garcia fight from the beginning because, because Mikey Garcia is ranked number four in the WBA ranking system, okay? So that seemed to be the logical thing to do from the beginning to keep his WBA title, but the WBA stripped him on the belt. They elevated your Danis Ugas to the full uh, super champion, the WBA champion, so it's only one WBA welterweight world champion, and that's your Danis Ugas. With that said, now uh, my, Manny Pacquiao was being rumored to go into a showdown with Terrence Crawford, but now it looks like he's not even going to go that route. He's going to go the route of Manny Pacquiao, uh, Mikey Garcia, and he could have kept his belt, essentially. But let's just listen to what Mikey Garcia had to say. Stop. Did Mikey Garcia said that the fight is set for me? Are you saying he's trying to, trying to get the fight set for me? Because it's been going on for a long time. So does that sound like these niggas got something on the table? Or it sound like they're trying to get something on the table? Y'all tell me what y'all think. Because this nigga hates so fucking much, bro. It's a sad case. Just keep listening to this. Video. Uh, Mikey Garcia had to say, he said, we're trying to get everything in the works for me. So this is unfortunate news for Terrence Crawford. Uh, or maybe it's fortunate news for the boxing world. Because now it seems like Terrence Crawford is going to have to go in the direction of his WBO mandatory challenger and two-time welterweight world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter in his next fight uh, as legend. Stop. You notice? You know, I'm just, I'm just pointing, I'm just pointing something out, bro. Do you notice? Like, I'ma go back in the start of the video. 
Let's hear if this nigga called Terrence Crawford a superstar boxer. Let's hear if he called Terrence Crawford a superstar boxer. I'm going to go back in the start of the video. And yeah, he called Errol Spence a superstar boxer. He, he called Sean Porter a superstar boxer. Let's hear if he called Terrence Crawford a superstar boxer. I'm just going to tell, tell you, I'm just make y'all see the little hate shit that they do with Bud. Look, I'm going to go all the way back. We're going to go all the way back. The sport of boxing. With that said, Mikey Garcia does an interview in which is he state by way of knockout. He is uh stands at five foot six. He did world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the double. Listen. What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> Listen, I'm sure show you all something, bro. He just called Sean Porter a superstar so, boxer. Got some Listen. News, the three division undefeated world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, and four division. Stop. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? They call Sean Porter a superstar boxer. And he never called um, um, Terrence Crawford a superstar boxer. He says it. He says the same shit about, uh, about Errol Spence and never give Bud his props. I'm just showing y'all something, bro. I'm just showing y'all something. I'm going to keep going. I just have to go back and, and, and bring that up, bro. I, I, I just have to go back and bring that up. I just have to do that real quick. Feel me? I just have to do that. It's fine. Uh, as legendary promoter, uh, he stated that if they couldn't get a deal done with Manny Pacquiao, they had um, Sean Porter already in recess. Uh, they planned on, he met with uh, Sean Porter's father, trainer, and manager, Teddy Porter, and they started to uh, get the ball rolling in negotiations. So uh, Sean Porter was the, the next option. So it looks like that's the route that Terrence Crawford is going to have to take. He's going to have to face off against Sean Porter in his next fight. Um, that's going to be an action-packed fight. If Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford face off against one another, Sean Porter is going to test him of every second, of every minute, of every round. He's going to push him to the brink. It's going to be an exciting fight. Terrence Crawford is going to be looking to make a statement. He's knocked out or stopped him. all five of his last opponents. He stopped Julius Ndongo for Undisputed. That was his last fight at Junior Welterweight. He stopped uh, Jeff Horn. Then he stopped uh, for the WBO title. Then he stopped um, uh, Jose Benavidez. Then he stopped Amir Khan. Then he stopped uh, Igas Kavalaskis. Then he stopped Kel Brook in his last fight, November 14th. So, obviously, Terrence Crawford is going to be looking to make a statement against Sean Porter. Porter. Sean Porter has been dropped a few times in his career, but never very truly visible hurt or in a compromised position where it looked like he was on the verge of being stopped. So, with that said, you know, Terrence Crawford has an opportunity to make a statement against Sean Porter, okay? Um, now the fight everybody wants to see, obviously, is a massive showdown, which is the super fight between Terrence Crawford, undefeated, unified WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl the Two Stars Jr. Stop! Now, Stop! Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it already. Y'all heard it again, right? Y'all heard it again, right? Y'all heard him call Sean Porter a superstar boxer and call... Um, Errol Spence, a superstar boxer, but just called Bud, um, Bud considered the pound for pound fighter. Bud is not considered the pound for pound fighter. He is the number one pound for pound fighter. Well, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. These niggas hate. They hate. Now, let me break down this video to y'all niggas. Let me tell you why this nigga saying that. This nigga wants to... He keeps saying... He, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence aren't the same type of fighters. Terrence Crawford don't fight fire with fire. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. He figures you out. You feel me? And when he figures you out, he hurts you. Then he pokes you out. That's what he do. He, he not going to go in there and go in there slug fest with Sean Porter. He don't ever do that in none of his fights. He only did that in one, one of his fights. He don't go on a slug fest with niggas. He figured them out. He found out their weakness. Then he attack it. And then he slugs you. Then he, then, then he attack you. And then he knock your ass out. You feel me? This nigga wants to see Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter fight so bad because he realized what Sean Porter did to Errol Spence. And he thinks, in his mind, he thinks... He want, not he thinks he wants Terrence Crawford to lose to Sean Porter, so 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 Terrence Crawford doesn't have to fight fucking Errol Spence.
You see how the hate runs deep? The hate runs deep with these niggas, bro. These niggas call Sean Porter a superstar boxer. And 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 and, and Bud is a is a is a pound for pound widely considered pound for pound fighter. Not is the pound for pound um, fighter number one. Cause when Floyd Money Mayweather was number one, niggas was calling him the pound for pound fighter. But niggas gonna say considered, right? Because he don't want to call Bud. He don't want to give Bud no credit. That's why he's not a superstar um, 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 boxer, and he's not, and he's considered. He considered a pound for pound fighter, num number one pound for pound fighter. Considered, you feel me? That's not the same thing as he is. You feel me? So do y'all get the hate that comes from me? That's what I'm trying to say. When y'all listen to these niggas, y'all gotta decipher when they what whether they're being genuine or whether they're being hateful. This all I gotta say. I don't want to keep watching this nigga video. This nigga's a fucking faggot, and he's never gonna stop. They never gonna stop. And y'all wanna see when this was posted three hours ago. So he's always going to keep hating on Terrence Crawford, no matter what. And Terrence Crawford doesn't know this man, bro. He don't know him, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. These niggas are weird.